And Minister Devo, I mean, you're the minister that, um, as your colleague was saying, was targeted. I mean, how do you feel about you and your I mean, this goes beyond me and the fact that I was targeted last night at, at this event. This increases political violence against everyone who runs for office in this country, whether they're doing it at the municipal level, at the provincial level, or at the federal level. As my friend and colleague Randy said, like, we can have differences of opinion. We can bang our fist on, on the table when, when, when we meet. We can have strong disagreement. But, but, but to, to, to incite violence against people who disagree with you, that's not how things should be done in Canada. Can clarify what is the violence? What is the violence? I, I think the minister also said this in French. What is the violence that they're bringing to Canada? What is the political violence that you're talking about? Just to be very clear. Well, to put, to, to put a, a target on, on someone's back, for example. The name what is the evil? To put someone in the crosshairs. The importance of robust criticism and accountability in democratic processes. It raises concerns about the misuse of accusations of incitement to suppress press freedom, cautioning against categorizing legitimate criticism as incitement. Using the example of Stephen Gilbalt's political leanings, it highlights the need to navigate political differences without resorting to equating them with violence. Preserving democracy involves tolerating political disagreements and dissenting voices. Labeling criticism as incitement undermines democratic values and can be used to suppress opposing views, a tactic observed in socialist, powerist, and communist regimes. Politicians should be open to criticism without branding it as incitement, questioning their accountability for their actions. It calls for ethical reflection on the use of accusations of incitement and warns against manipulating public opinion through fear, which contradicts socialist values of authenticity and ethical responsibility.